eMoney added a new feature recently that's designed for advisors to give their clients peace of mind when it comes to this common fear of outliving their money. Today, I wanna to show you that new feature and then give you an example of how to use it in client meetings and also give you some reasons when not to use it with clients. But very quickly, if I haven't met you yet, I'm Dave Zoller. I run Streamline Financial, a wealth management firm with my business partner, Tim. And we created this channel for advisors so that we can share some of the things that we're doing to continue to grow our business. If that would be helpful for you, then subscribe so that you can use these videos as a resource to grow your business as well. So this new feature is called the Longevity Risk Analysis, and it's an add-on to eMoney's Decision Center. What I like about it is it's basically just enhancing the current version of that Decision Center that clients are already used to seeing. And before this feature, when we look at Decision Center with our clients, it would look something like this, which if you use eMoney, then you've seen this before. It's a simple and easy way to visualize a client's retirement, right? Where you can turn on toggles or turn them off and see what sort of impact that the decisions they make today will have on their future. And we typically plan to age 95 in our retirement plans for our clients. And a common thing that would happen in meetings is we'd look at this and, and we'd see that, you know, things are getting close to, towards the end of life and they'd say, well, I'm never gonna live till age 95. You know, I'll be lucky if I hit 85. What's the, what's the number for me at age 85? Oh, two mil, I'll be fine. So we'd always say, you know, we do, one of the big risks is longevity risk and we just wanna plan this way just to be conservative and make sure that you're gonna be okay. But this new tool that they just came up with or this really add-on that they came up with has changed it a little bit. So in Decision Center, if you go to Monte Carlo and then click on the longevity risk button, it assigns a probability of success to each one of the years and then it color codes it. And this way of viewing the plan seems so clear that really anyone can understand it right away. And it's been really great in eMoney. So for that client, sure, when you are age 85, that's things are gonna look fine for you if you died. But what if you do live longer? Look how quickly things could change. So let's look at some of these toggles and let's see what we should update. And eMoney said that this interactive experience is designed to help facilitate critical conversations and educate advisors and their clients on the often surprising life expectancy statistics. But I'd be curious to know, have you used this feature before or would you plan on using it if you knew that it was available? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to get your take too. There are cases where I wouldn't use this feature though, and that would be during an initial retirement planning meeting where we're viewing their e-money plan for the first time. And if their plan doesn't have a high probability of success. Now, the reason why that is, is when we have an unsuccessful plan, I wanna ease the clients into understanding that they will most likely have to make some changes in order for their plan to be successful. Showing them up front with a lot of red could really discourage them or even turn them off from having these meetings in the future. Now, they obviously have to know that changes are gonna be needed, but this feature could make them feel uh, like there's not, not a lot of hope for their plan. So that's just my opinion. Maybe that's not how you might think about it or feel about it, but that's just what we've seen in our client meetings. So if you like this video, please click the like button below so that I know to make more videos like this for advisors. And if you're subscribed, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.